It's in perfect condition. All right, I think I sold my car. Oh. They're coming to look at it today, sometime this afternoon. Good. I told you I'd make enough to get to Europe. Uh. Milo, I swear to... Every day you That's... do something so stupid. When's she gonna grow up? Oh, Milo. I'm sorry, Mom. I know, Milo, I know. Just let's get through breakfast. Another great start for Milo Crimpley. I wonder if these things happen to anyone else. Children, for the most part, your reports on China were excellent. Now, let me see what I've got for you, Agnes. Ah, Agnes, very thoughtful and well-written. Thank you, Miss Sandwich. And you, oh, <laughs> wonderful insights, Herman. Thank you, Miss Sandwich. Yes. Some people don't seem to be listening very carefully. Milo, the history of China dishes. China can mean dishes, yes, yes. But the history of dishes is not what I was looking for from my geography class. I keep on thinking, there must be a limit to how many things a person can do wrong in one day. Last night, I ate my brother's class project. His biology project? Yeah. The head, too? The whole thing. Listen, last week, I swear it was an accident. I used my mother's wig to scrub out the bathtub. She wore it downtown in the rain. It started to bubble. You're kidding. Someone called the police. They thought she was a nightclub act. Was she mad? Mad. <laughs> there, what do you think? A metal kite? It's got to be different to win. It's different, all right. You think you can get it to fly? Well, I've got all week to try. Why don't you enter the contest this year? They're giving a prize of $250 for the most fantastic kite. No way. With my luck, it would probably crash somewhere and end up costing me $250. Things do sort of happen to you. Everything happens to me. I used to think I was going to get better, but I'm getting worse. Milo, you just put the... What? Nothing, never mind. What? Hi. Hi. Need some help? I'm just trying to get the seats looking good. Eric, telephone! Coming! Some people named Yamata are coming to look at my car. If they show up, give a yell. He always parked so close to the wall. This is the so. corner he said, did he? Here's the flag.
Dr. K. Pinkerton Silverfish can make you a perfect person in just three days. Come see me at 33 Newbury Avenue. Gotta have some answers. Hello? 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 Dr. Silverfish. I presume you've come to sign up for my course in perfectology. You're a little young for this sort of business, aren't you? Most of my clients are adults. Now go out and live a little. I mean, a few imperfections at your age are just to be expected. It comes with the territory. At the rate I'm going, I'm... I'm not going to make it to being an adult. Let's get started right away. <laughs> Takes three days to become perfect. This is your first lesson. Go home and listen to it. Follow the instructions perfectly. Report back to me tomorrow, and I'll give you your next lesson. Understand? Yes, sir. Ow. I'm fine, Mom. I'm fine. All right, Dr. Silverfish, I'm ready for a miracle. Good and comfortable? I hope so. Because becoming a perfect person requires a lot of discomfort. Think you're up to it? Any change in me has got to be an improvement. All right, here goes. But don't say I didn't warn you. Get a stalk of broccoli and tie a loop of string around the end. Tomorrow, wear it around your neck all day long. Well, don't just sit there and stare. Go get the broccoli. Wear a broccoli necklace? Everyone's going to laugh at me. Of course they will. But don't forget, you're the one who signed up. Well, over and out. Mom, I need the money now. Eric, I understand that. You're really impossible. Milo, you may give your report now. <laughs> Chili, a country, not a pot of beans. Milo Kirkwood. Hey, uh, Milo, your vegetable shot. <laughs> Silence! Milo, come here. Sandwich. You don't understand. 
I think we'll let the principal handle this. March. Milo, stand up for what you believe. Remember Bruno Blump. Bruno Blump, the inventor of sauerkraut. Yeah. What can they do to me? It's not like wearing broccoli is a crime. Besides, perfect people never get embarrassed or afraid. This is America, Mr. Stumpful. And a person can wear broccoli around his neck any time he wants to. Now, this sign means railroad crossing, you understand? Do you want to make it to perfection? Well, then let's start paying a little more attention, okay? You go to your little house. I did, Dr. Silverfish. I can see that. It's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. I just can't imagine anything more humiliating than wearing a stalk of broccoli. And if you can do that, you can do anything. Congratulations! Just think! You're never going to be embarrassed again. You've learned self-confidence. And that is the first step to becoming a perfect person. Now give me that broccoli. I mean, we just don't need that anymore. Comfortable enough? Good. Now for step two. From now until your appointment tomorrow, don't eat a single thing. Surprise! Geography quiz! Oh, come on! Mark. Ah, oh, there you are, Mark. Ankara is the capital of what country? Um, Turkey. Andre, where is Athens? Greece. Right. <laughs> Budapest. Hungary. Marlo, name me an island lying off the coast of Italy. <laughs> Sardin. Sardine walls. <laughs> Sardines? <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss. Miss Sandwich. <laughs> Out. You've come another step closer to perfection. It's you who deserve the praise today. You have proved to me and to the world you've got willpower. Willpower. It's the engine that powers perfect people. Now, um... Lesson number three. Your third lesson is a snap. By 3.30 p.m. tomorrow afternoon, you're to have done something you've never done before and never thought you could do. What exactly? That's for you to figure out. After all, I'm already perfect. Over and out. Something I've never done before. I wonder if I should have asked my mom before I borrowed this. I know. Have you ever stood on your head and pretended you were tap dancing on the sky? Everyone's done that. Beats me what Silverfish wants. 
I spent all morning trying to think of things. Problem is, I'm 12. I've done everything. Come on, Milo. We'll say the kites both of ours. I'm not in the mood. You could at least watch. No, thanks. I gotta get used to the fact that come 3.30 this afternoon, I've lost my one chance of becoming perfect. Well, see you later. Yeah. Good luck. Thanks. So here it is. $250, prize money. Here's the official rules. Rules. The kite that's the most fantastic, that stays in the air more than five minutes, wins. The point is, it's got to fly, and it's got to fly high. OK, we're going to start in five minutes. So everybody, take your places. in a second. Hear anything rattle? Then nothing's broken. Huh. There are balloons to sell, prizes to win. Hey, how come you're not competing? You look like an imaginative type. You might have a shot at winning. I've never gotten a cut off the ground. Not much of a gambler, are we? Not much of anything. Well, don't be too eager to sell yourself short. You know, someday you might surprise yourself. Turn out to be a real winner. A winner? Me? I've never won anything. Don't think I ever will. I've never won anything. I've never won anything. Don't think I ever could win. Something I've never done before. Something... Something... That's it. That's it! What time is it? 2.30. That gives me an hour. But how? The how? That's it. One minute to go. <laughs> On your mark! Oh! Wow! Come on! Get down! Get set! Hurry, hurry! Okay, now you take this bowling ball. All right, all right. And you're gonna need the umbrella? For what? Well, it may rain. Go! This is gonna work. We won't know till we try, will we? Well, that's the spirit. Let her go! I'm flying! I'm flying! I'm flying! Oh, my eyes!
yes. Daring, yes. Bold, yes. But your victory, Milo, was all these things, but it was more. It was much more. It was perfection itself. Milo, and this. Take this. What did he say? He wasn't there, so I left it in his room. Boy, is he going to be surprised. Everyone's going to be surprised. It looks great, Milo. A perfect table for a perfect celebration. What are you going to cook? Hmm, doesn't matter. Whatever it is, it'll turn out perfectly. This guy's terrific. Maybe you should think of him rolling, Jenny. It doesn't cost much, only the most valuable thing you own. I solved that little problem, too. Tonight after dinner, I'm giving Dr. Silverfish my trophy. He sure deserves it. After all, he's changed my whole life. Milo, wait! Where are you going? To see Dr. Silverfish. I did everything he wanted, and I'm still not perfect. Milo! I don't get it. I just don't get it. Sorry to leave you in the lurch. Figured my work was about done here, and, well, business wasn't all that brisk. But I've got a new course ready to go. Make four billion by next Thursday. Sorry, technical difficulties. Have you been chewing on this tape? Where was I? Oh, yes. Congratulations! You're perfect! Unless by some strange chance you didn't follow my instructions precisely. In which case, congratulations, you're not perfect. It's ridiculous to want to be perfect anyway. Perfect is never doing anything wrong, which means never doing anything at all. Perfect is boring. <laughs> 
Oh, no. As I was saying, you're not perfect. Wonderful! Which means you can have fun, eat things that give you bad breath, trip over your own shoelaces, laugh, let somebody else laugh at you. My advice to you is be patient. You're getting better every day. Don't forget, you did something you never thought you could, and it didn't take a perfect person to pull that off, did it? Milo? Yeah. Where did this come from? I won it. The kite contest. I mean, thanks a lot. Come on, dinner's ready. Great. You no, know, I was thinking when I got back from my trip, maybe I'll show you how to really drive. Really? Yeah. On second thought. <laughs> 